know that the first black man to create a fiber optic technology with the name Dr. Thomas Mensah is actually from Motherland, Ghana. I, he also established the Silicon Valley of Ghana. And in 2015, he was inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors. And uh, till now, he's still into technology. Yes. In this video, we'll be talking about Dr. Thomas Mensah, his contribution to fiber optic technology that has changed the world, and also STEM education in Ghana. What is the future of the Ghanaian student after completing the STEM educational program in Ghana? That kind of education system will not transform Ghana. That kind of education system is not going to give us critical thinking individuals, especially since we are um, in the 21st century. You can memorize your way out of poverty, but you can critically think and innovate out of poverty. Lovelies, these and more we will be discussing in this video. Uh, without these four guys, the internet won't work because we invented a laser-based fiber optic system that allows anybody to send a picture to somebody else's cell phone. Without that invention, you cannot send a tweet, you cannot send an Instagram pictures, no Facebook. So we let Facebook, Google, and all those things happen. I seem to now understand why the Ghanaian government is so keen on technology. They are so keen on robotics. This is because you know they've had a lot of people from Ghana who have done beautifully well when it comes to technology, when it comes to robotics and a whole lot. You cannot send an Instagram pictures, no Facebook. So we let Facebook, Google and all those things happen. Uh -huh. Because before we did it, everything was using copper. Uh -huh. You would stand in front of ATM machine for about eight hours. But now you go in and get things quick because of the invention of fiber optics. Who is Dr. Thomas Mensah? Dr. Thomas Mensah is a graduate from the prestigious Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. He and three others invented this technology that can make me be able to send files to you through my phone and you will receive it in colored and in high quality. Yes, he is an African American. He was known for his pioneer in fiber optic technology and was also the president and CEO of Georgia Aerospace Systems. His educational background started at Adisadel College. He was born 1950 to the 27th of March 2024 when he died. This Ghanaian American chemical engineer innovated and contributed to the development of fiber optic manufacturing and nanotechnology. This great man has 14 patents and was inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors in 2015. In 2017, Dr. Mensah served as an editor-in-chief of the textbook Nanotechnology, Commercialization, and a whole lot. Do not forget his alma mater is the prestigious Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. This man has contributed deeply into the Ghanaian aerospace and he has also been awarded so many awards like the Alche 100, 280 and a lot of National Academy of investors. During that time, how did you even think of this? Well, I had come out of MIT as a chemical engineer, and I was hired to solve a problem because they couldn't take the invention out of the laboratory. And within six months, I've solved the problem and made it feasible so that fiber optics could be cheap and it could replace copper wires throughout America. Yeah. Wow. And one thing I also love about this man is that he always says something. He says, as a black person, as an African, don't you ever feel that you cannot do what the Americans are doing? Don't you ever feel you cannot do what the Asians are doing, what the Indians are doing? That for a father, you're an African, you're a black person, you can actually even do more than what they did. If only you can put your mind and thought into it. Wow. Dr. Thomas Mensah is indeed... A great man or should i use the word was indeed a great man and i hope this amount of technology doesn't die with him the ghanaian government you know look for a way to ensure that every child in ghana 
helping those who are interested in science and technology get an opportunity to become a Thomas Nensa. Lovely. Thank you to that subscriber who sent me this content. God bless you so much. Now, I also got this comment from a subscriber who was asking me that my worry has been when the children complete school, can they start their own firm after their study or can they use this as a business to build the economy? There must be a proper plan for this type of education. Otherwise, the result is COS90. During vacation, what next after completing school? What next? This comment left me actually thinking. You can memorize your way out of poverty, but you can critically think and innovate out of poverty. So Ghanaian schools, Africans will have to begin to take a serious look at what I call the assertive curriculum. A curriculum that empowers the African child to ask questions and challenge the status quo respectfully. Yes. After the Ghanaian students are done with their secondary school education, university education in STEM technology, what is next for them? What is the Ghanaian government doing to ensure that, you know, these children do not just, you know, say, oh, I'm a young developer, I'm a young this, I'm a young that, and at the end, they cannot use it for anything sustainable. To me, I would say, well, so long as you have a primary knowledge in technology, you don't have to depend on the government for anything. As long as the government can provide you primary education in STEM technology, secondary education in STEM, in STEM technology, even before you graduate from the university, I believe if you're somebody that is now critically thinking, if you're still depending on the government for employment, despite being a STEM engineer, then you are not critically thinking. Do you get me? I believe that anybody that goes through this STEM education the right way and assimilates it properly, even before you graduate from the university, you would have invented something that will make you a hot cake in the market. Yes, because then you are beginning to think critically. For example, all around the world, we have one or two issues. People are complaining that, oh, you know, watching videos on social media consumes a lot of data. May you now produce a technology that helps people watch videos for less data? Trust me, are you not made for life? You are made for life. So anybody that goes through this STEM education in the right way would not even depend on government for jobs, would not even depend on government for anything. Before they graduate, they already have an idea waiting for them to execute, which I believe is the main, is the main reason behind the government sponsoring STEM education. Because trust me, the government cannot employ every Ghanaian. We have over how many thousands of students who graduate every year from Ghanaian secondary schools and university. How many would the government employ? And I believe this is why every student in Ghana who is opportuned to attend these STEM schools should prepare ahead, even before their graduation, that I'm not depending on the government for a job, but with this STEM education I have, I can create job for myself and also for others. So lovely, feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. And then, and if there's a video idea you think I should talk about, drop the title and I will definitely talk about it. That's all I have for you in this video. I'm Delicious Ami. Yeah, it's from Ghana. I talk Nigeria, so I Kenya. And all the good stuff related to them. I will definitely see you in my next one, guys. Bye. Bye.